All right, we're back. We'll be going straight to the lines. Good evening. You're on the air. Good Hello. evening. Hello. I'm on the line waiting. No, you're live on the air. We can hear you loud and clear. You can hear me? Yes, ma'am. Well, one question I'd like to ask. Mm -hmm. You all mention every island in the West Indies, but I never hear you all mention everything about Sufre. <laughs> I never hear anything for Sufre, for mm. the youngsters that is coming up or any... Anything. Why is that? I Remember I what Sufre is. It's the chief town of the, of the island. Mm. I, can, I can speak to Sufre. Um, we started the national performance program and in our initial run last year, we had it in Castries, moving around the city circuit. We had it in Sufre on the waterfront. We then, together with the Sufre Foundation, moved it to the square and we employed a number of young of young. Um, young poets, dancers, and so on, performing on every Thursday at about 12 to about 2 p.m. every Thursday in, in synchronization with the cruise ship schedule. So that when these tourists came off, beyond them just going to the Sulphur Springs or various restaurants, they would actually stay in the city center or the town center so that um, the entertainment would drive that. We went through the initial round of that, and we are actually looking to expand. I can tell you that with the Future Lights, with the Matrix Band, with um, the Sufre Action Theater, we are literally looking to rebrand and expand there in after once we get past the next budget going into May. Um, and the night that has been chosen for branded night is the Monday night because we believe the cruise ship schedule is going to expand in 2016 up to 3 a.m. And we need to be able to take people to more than just Grosely and Castries so that all points of the island are going to have to have developed creative and entertainment brands. Thank you. I hope you do so. I'm looking forward Will to do, it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your call. I want to go back to the earlier question about mm -hmm. um, the, the work of sisters and yes. the, the need for us to broaden our definition of what arts and culture is. Then easily yeah. said, um, I must give hats off to Mr. Compton for the Indian Association. Mm -hmm. Indian in terms of the culture, the pageantry and so on mm -hmm. that he's trying to bring out. He had his first event down in Miku, mm -hmm. but he's also in the, on the committee in terms of the Viewfort Town Council okay. and he will be making cultural representation for the Indian community um, in, in, uh, in independence. Mm -hmm. So we are broadening in terms of that. We've always had the Eurocentric parts that come through the, col the colonial system, mm -hmm. but even with regard to the French, Im uh, French embassy has always made great cultural impact so they have influenced a lot of our film projects so now for the first time instead of having film that is just at the cultural center on some night where nobody's watching mm -hmm. we now are going to be including film through the audiovisual film association in independence activities so whether it's people like Ted or Kendall or Colin Weeks and so on are all going to be infused so we're taking a lot of cultural lessons from countries that are more experienced than us mm -hmm. and we are like I said blending them into a syllogism and ex extrapolating that those methodologies into our independence as a testing ground and as a place that pl these things can be displayed. Okay, let's take another call. Good evening, you're on the air. Hi, good, good evening. Good evening. Um, I'm really, really excited to, to hear um, how the, the creative industries is, 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 is trying to take the, this, this, this industry of culture and music and dance um, forward. Um, I've been here now for a number of years, and um, what, what I'm, what I, what, when I came, what I, what I was seeing is a, is a lack of, of these, these two different avenues in order to, to get music and, and dance and, and these, these, these areas mm -hmm. forward. Um, and it, it is only like in the last couple of years that I've seen this, this, this ministry, which is the creative industry, come into the forefront and is is, is doing uh, what I would consider a, a, a it's a first step but it's a wonderful job in, in, in trying to, to open up the avenue for for creative um, the, the, a creative atmosphere um, uh, in some of the other islands what I've seen them done is that they have tried to to present a year-round avenue Definitely, for, yeah, yeah. For, for 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 music, for dance, for theater, um, like like with like with 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 here in Saint Lucia, um, you find that the independence, the the, the month of January, February is independence. Hmm. So w w what what can happen is that we <coughs> have a a, a a a creative aspect revolving around that season. 
and then uh, May mid mid year, then there's supposed to be something else that is active that would allow uh, the artists to participate in that, and then we have uh, December uh, around the Christmas Christmas holidays, and you have that. So it's good to <coughs> see that, that things are actually trying to fall in place where uh, where the artists have some sort of avenue in order for one that they could generate some sort of income, um, and, and and they can and they can they can find areas in where in which they, they can they can uh, they, they can actually do uh, do stuff. Now I'm a musician, okay, and and I'm an artist. Um, I paint. I, I I do music, and year round I I'm supposed to be active. Agreed. Yeah, every single year as a as a as a as a music artist. I'm supposed to be encouraged to to create mm -hmm. an album. Then, then Kola, if I can interject, yeah. I will I will agree with you 100 percent. I don't believe that music and other performing arts need a season. Whereas you may have seasons like Christmas or Carnival. Right. I don't think they need a season. One of the things that we're doing right now is to introduce a number of other seasons to the point where when we populate the calendar with enough seasons that music and dance and theater will have a year-round impact. There's right. nothing worse there's nothing worse than to see a Calypsonian that was the cat's meow in the middle of the season and then to see them destitute right. two or three months after. Right. Another right. thing that we're doing is that through the National Performance Program we have strategically placed our employment program so that you won't find an employment pro program running through Christmas when most of the artists are getting gigs. Right. But you will find, for example, from next Next week, Miku Bota will be reestablished and also Castries and Viewfort so that the employment programs that we have, much like it obtains in French markets like Martinique, will be, will be, er, will be established and reestablished and go through those down times where the hotel or the cruise yeah. ships may not necessarily be able to facilitate. Another aspect of that is that our training programs and hats off to CDF are also year round with intensification going on through mass March, April and so on. But mm -hmm. I also mentioned earlier that when you look at things like arts and crafts and the jazz and arts festival, right. the ability to take arts and crafts and not just have people expo for independence and then put these things back in a box, in box but right, know that yeah. we can now. One of the things that the prime minister in his deliberate vision was talking about was repurposing places like the post office. Can you imagine the post offices around the country if they were repurposed to be Sea Island cotton shops of St. Lucian goods and services? Yeah. Can you imagine if yeah. we had entertainment and we are going to have entertainment in many of our ports of entry so that whether you come through Huronora or VG Airport, um, George F.L. Charles Airport, Something that you can have entertainment there? Can you imagine if we have strategic touring initiatives like we mm -hmm. implemented in New York so that we know every year how many people are going to New York to represent, to bolster yeah. our brand? Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. That's the way to go. Yeah, so all I, will t all I will tell you is that for me personally, there are a lot of things that I always wanted to see done. And I also recognize that when you're doing a creative industries type job like CDF, yeah. that you're going to get chewed up and spit out. Mm. So that whether it was Teddy before me or it was Boots before me, <laughs> the truth is I have a limited time and people get fed up on me very quick. So for my, my goal is to get as much done as I can. Yeah, can. So I don't have yeah. any days off. I work eight days a week and as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> we'll get it done because I treat every day like it's like my last and I also recognize that the creative industries is a real-time industry there's no um, I'll get on the plane tomorrow you miss the flight you miss the gig you miss out so yeah. we need to speed up government in many ways and a lot of the efforts that I make with people like Imran Emmanuel um, DPS Buske and, and, and the rest of the team in the ministry and believe me I get a lot of help from the Ministry of Tourism and the heritage people like Donalyn all of these people help out because it's not just me it's an entire team of people trying to get all of these things yeah. to work yeah, yeah. Um, and, and for an artist and, a, a, and a, a, a person like me, you, I mean, you have my support in terms of uh, I'm, I'm here, I'm here, and I'm watching, and I'm, I'm willing to participate. I get a number of, of emails from from CDF, mm -hmm. um, and I mean the, the, the programs that they're offering and the programs that that they are are uh, asking you to be a part of. Yes. It, it's really, it's really um, good, and it, 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 it it's challenging the artist to to, to to grow. Yeah, to grow, to get <coughs> the material out of their day, um, and have avenues that they can actually put their material out. Well, what so I w what I will say is that I am duty bound to take you seriously. 
What I need from you and every other artist in St. Lucia is to take yourself seriously and the rest will flow. Everything will come from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. And Thank you very much. Good work. Keep up the good work. Yes, let's, let's keep up the good work. Uh, we really need uh, somebody pushing the, this, this creative and the, and the artist and the art in order for us to, 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 to make an impact um, out there in the, in the even not only locally but also internationally. Yep. It's, it's, a, it's about time that, that we actually hit the chart. It's about time that, that we start making our, 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 our brand known, known and the unknown, even the unknown, has a have an opportunity. Not not only the Boo Hickson and the Amon Henry, mm -hmm. but the unknown um, see that hey, you know what? We can actually make it, and we can make a mark, a solution mark, out there in 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 the in the world of of creativity, in the world of of music. Definitely. Well, beyond even music, whether it's architecture, infrastructure, infrastructure dance, yeah. theater, yeah. I will say that the entire creative model is built on export, is built on international markets. So like Booing Sun always tells the artists, if you're making a song, don't just make it for San Lucia, make it for the world. Mm -hmm. And to see that a song like Suzette can be big in Germany, yep. it proves and it breaks a lot of preconceptions that we have so that we have a lot that we can do and we have a lot that we are going to do. And if you are, like I said, if you invest in in yourself as a brand as a business as a person as an artist then I'll meet you and the, the creative industries is duty bound to meet you halfway, meet you halfway and yeah. let's take it all the way because all I for one I, I don't just want a Rihanna I don't just want to be a Bob Marley mm -hmm. I want a consistent promulgation and promotion of St. Lucian artists to the point where St. Lucia is an established brand so that the other 300 countries around the world know us the same way and like I said people know Rihanna they know Barbados through Rihanna so the yeah. creative industries is what drives tourism, is what drives agriculture, what is what drives a destination on the whole. So we're going to make sure that we make a mark. Okay, okay, okay. Have a good night. Same yeah, to you. You too. Thank okay. you very much for calling. <laughs> you, know, you know, I'll push for government um, to introduce policies that adequately support the creative industries so that they become viable economic um, sectors. Um, there are challenges. Britain, challenges. We were talking about Britain earlier and the fact yes. that they have one of the largest creative uh, sectors in, in Europe. Yeah. They have economic challenges. They've had cutbacks. Mm -hmm. Their arts and um, creative industries are suffering mm -hmm. or f threatened. Well, a smaller economy I can, like ours. Mm. I, can, I can simply answer that in two ways. Most of the creative sector is informal and never been truly supported. Mm -hmm. And all of the gains that they've been making has been through the sweat of their brow and their resilience. Mm -hmm. So I already have a very resilient human resource base. But everything from, for example, standardization, Bureau of Standards we right. need to get involved, from having training and capacity building island-wide, mm -hmm. the need for venues, the need for retrofitting venues, right. the need for export of artists, all of the manifold of goods and services, bringing in equipment, um, production equipment, um, uh, th there's grants for production for people that want to publish books uh, and, and so on, for the artists' uh, materials. You have, for example, people like Tariba um, De Nos Nascimento, who's lamenting that you can't get zippers on island for, for her to make her handbags. All of these things we have to address. And yes, it's challenging, but the truth is we have at least the one thing that we need, which is a people with a positive spirit that just need a chance. Most of the creative sector, most of the dancers, most of the musicians, they just need a chance. And all all we have to do is just give them a chance. They, they take it all the rest of the way, okay, and it's working. Uh, let's give another caller a chance. The last call for the evening. <laughs> Hello. Are you on the air? Good evening. The only problem that I have with St. Lucian's, right? Mm. Christopher Hunt decorated the airport so that we can know exactly what's happening. The tourists coming in, they can know where we independent. We have Carnival. We have to do those things. Mm. Definitely. Put those things in our mind. Decorate the airport. You have to do that. Thank you. Yeah, because you spoke about Thank all you. the ports before, right? The fact that you have some entertainment happening at the ports. Yes, we, uh, we between the airports, the seaports. Mm -hmm. um, we are looking at. We are looking at. As a matter of fact, we've tried it. For example, I'm sure the vendors. You can. You you've had stories where the vendors have been performing. They've even put on fashion shows mm -hmm. in the vendors' arcade because every Tuesday from November 15th all mm -hmm. the way up to December 16th, I believe, we had a national national performance program where poets, dancers, theater groups, fashion shows, and so on would take place. Mm -hmm. So it's not something that we aren't doing. It's something that we're doing, but we want to expand. People like the health minister Alvina Reynolds. People like um, um, Emma Hebele, the representative for Gros 
the Minister for Commerce, um, Honourable Lon Theophilus himself, also the Prime Minister. We're all looking to have community-based employment programs to drive some of these initiatives. So these initiatives will be will be expanding. So the point of it is that there's always more that we can do, and nobody wants to see more done than I can, than I do. Right. But I also have to respect the reality that if a trough comes you're going to be impacted. Ebola comes, it's, it's one pot of money, and there may be priorities that may supersede yours. But when we get our small opportunities, we're going to make the most of it. I am going to be a fan this independence, and I'm going to be on the ground watching people impress me and move people, and I can bank on the creative industries to make an impression. Christopher Hunt, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Those of you who called, thanks for calling. Hopefully you'll join us next week. We'll hear from you as well when we have another guest. Newsmaker Live will be back next Wednesday. Until then, have yourselves a good evening and enjoy the rest of your week.